Hi, this is Uli and welcome back to another airbrush stencil video. Today I'm doing uh, the pink skulls. I have like four smaller skulls for a um, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab number three light. So each skull has a height of like uh, seven point five centimeters and the width of about six centimeters. So and I'm doing uh, four of them on this uh, pink uh, tablet. I have done the sticker over the camera so that no color comes in there. And uh, it was uh, black before and, and uh, I painted it pink. So now I'm doing the uh, single stencil steps. So I'm starting with one skull and I'm laying down black, dark grey, light grey. And this is all the basic three first steps for each skull. And now come to the light grey. Now I'm putting in some uh, magenta for a, a little bit of pink background for the skulls. Now comes the white highlight stencil. Now I'll put a cover stencil on the this car and ready to paint the second one. Because of the cover stencil I can't paint into the first one and so it automatically is behind the first one. And all I have to do for this overlapping skulls is to add an extra uh, shadow like there where the two skulls uh, overlap. And otherwise I can work like before and uh, it's like about uh, two minutes per skull and final white And then I'm covering it again. And painting another one. So about um, like two minutes for one skull. It's like if you have bigger projects for where you have to do multiple skulls, like on bike parts and small bike parts, this is the the best choice you can make for highly detailed skulls in 
short amount of time. You can combine them as you wish. And now comes the last skull. If I have to do this again, I would like would put this one in front of the the other. So the now the part of the eye socket is overlapped by the other skull. Would have been better if I put this skull on front. It would only take 30 seconds to just put the white uh, white first stencil that I put in there on on the skull again and overlap the the right skull and, and you can paint him as as front skull. So what I'm doing now is I'm um, using some uh, purple to do some shadow some drop shadows on the skull and then you can see the finished Version. All I have to do is like put some clear coat on it and remove the sticker over the the camera afterwards, and then the project would be finished. So here's it with removed sticker. Uh, if you like it, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching. Bye.